Okay, take a clean cavity slide and collect a little few drops of, pond, of the pond water with Daphne in. So, I'm going to find some Daphne. Okay. And then when you've got a Daphne, let him drop to the bottom of the pastel pet and then just pop a few drops on until you get your Daphne onto your slide. Now your Daphne will be running around on the surface of your slide and will be hard to keep control of. So the best thing to do is to make your Daphne to, little Daphne to be um, happy. And to do that, give him a little bit of cotton wool to be able to grip onto. So a tiniest wisp of cotton wool, that's a bit much, half of that. So I've got a few strands of cotton wool there now. And I'm going to place those just into the edge of the water droplet. Not on top of him, just put the side. And you'll find he will kind of stop moving and grip, grip onto the cotton wool. Okay, so here you're Daphne, Daphne. And hopefully you can see there's a beating heart behind the gills on the left hand side. It's beating very, very quickly. In order to find the heart rate, look at the heart and then start the clock. And as you do so, tap out the, in time with the heartbeat. Okay, right, so now I need to count up these dots and see how many points there are. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46. That's 46 beats in 10 seconds. Then you multiply this by 6 to give you your heart rate per minute. We're going to set up a series of dilutions of caffeine. So if we take uh, 10 millilitres of pond water, pen, okay. uh, in the first one we're going to put in here uh, 4.5. Okay. In the next one we're going to put uh, 4. So it's going to be four, here we are. and then the next time we're going to do 2.5. Okay, and then we're going to put in this one no pump water at all. Okay, so that's um, the Pond water, then taking a clean um, syringe, taking up caffeine this time. So we'll take up the 10 ml line, that's it. This first one we're going to add in, in 0.5 millilitres of caffeine. So just a small amount. There we are. Okay, so that's 0.5 and, five, and 0.5. Then we've got um, one millilitre in this one. There we are, and then we've got 2.5 in this one. So we've got, so that's 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 2.5, and the last one we're going to have 5 cubic centimetres. This is going to be down to the one line on here. 5 cubic centimetres, all at 0. There we are. Okay. This caffeine, caffeine solution is 0.5%. We're diluting it with pond water, and that will give us a range of concentrations from 0.05% down to 0.5%. Each of these, we can just give them a quick flip mix just to ensure that they are um, mixed properly. And now we need to go and change our uh, liquid on the on the slide for each of these. And I suggest that you start with the lowest concentration first, the 0.05% and work up. 
And to do this, it's simply a case of aspirating off the liquid, off the surface of your slide. Take it off, sucking away. There it is. Okay, that can go to waste. And then putting a couple of drops of your lowest concentration onto your slide, then with your Daphnia immobilised with a cotton wool. There we are, a couple of drops there. Three drops, I think it was. Okay, and then we're going to see what difference that's made. I suggest that you leave a couple of minutes for your Daphnia to get used to the new concentration, and then we'll go and check on the microscope to see his new heart rate. And now you can try and um, work out the heart rate again for another 10 seconds. That's it. All right. So I can then recount the uh, dots. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 5, 6, 7, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. Okay, got 42 this time. Okay, so we can now take off the 0.05% solution, aspirate it off, and go to waste, and then put the few drops of the 0.1% onto the uh, Daphnia. One, two, three, and there we are. Okay, and then we can go and measure the heart rate again. And you can um, do that, repeat that again for the 0.25 and the 0.5% and then plot a graph of your results. Okay.